a moment of silence for people who are in relationships in their early 20s think this relationship will go anywhere or this is the person they will end up marrying <laughs> Hello, hello. How are you? I hope you are okay. I hope you're having a fantastic year so far. But if you know you are in Kenya, you are definitely having a fantastic year. It's a year of elections. We have to see the worst. Anyway, today's video is gonna be about <laughs> life lessons learned so far in my 20s and I want to share that knowledge with the younger people who are starting their 20s because most of us have been through shit um, and more shit you know coming ahead I'll divide them into two categories first of all the normal life lessons that are there to be um, learned and two when it comes to relationships so number one is very simple love yourself don't put people first when they shouldn't be put first don't do things to please people who should be my number two <laughs> stop doing things to please people i have there i've been there may have done that unknowingly that comes when you are when you're 18 19 20 you know, in college meeting new people making new friends and you want to fit in the group um um, you know, this is the latest fashion. You, know, you want to wear something skimpy, you know, doing, doing it for the Instagram. You know, Instagram is so crazy nowadays. I'm not the only one who notices Instagram is for the rich. Have you ever, have you ever, have you ever, have you ever seen a poor person on Instagram? You know, everybody's looking flashy, wearing the best clothes, the best makeup, driving the best cars. And I feel it comes with a lot of pressure when you put a post on Instagram, you gotta look rich, flashy, fabulous. I, I, I don't know the direction that where that is going when it comes to social media, but I will definitely let you know don't do things to please people, but do it, do it for the right reasons. If you are an influencer, definitely, definitely you're gaining. But if you're doing it to compete with someone else or you feel that you want to gain followers, you know your main aim is followers. It is a toxic time to be um, a teenager. It is a very hard time to be um, in your 20s. But anyway, if you can handle it the right way, then you know do, do some research on how to really enjoy social media and don't you know put your whole money to being the best uh, in social media. Learn to say no. Learn to say no. Sikila time. Tufanya hivi, unafuata. Tuende hivi, unafuata. Do I really need to tell you? Learn to say no. If you don't feel like going out, say no. You know, let's say you're in a group of people and they can afford something expensive and you, you can't because your money is limited. Just say no. Don't just say yes to everything. Say no to drugs. Say no to drink. You don't feel like drinking. You know, this is not your, this is not your type of drink say no learn to say no it's okay you don't always have to fit in a place just because you feel that you need to do something that everybody else is doing if a person doesn't respect that then that means they are definitely not supposed to be your friend it doesn't go like that no one will be mad when you say no to something you don't feel like doing drink responsibly the <laughs> young ladies you know don't be a tanker that's what we call them don't be a tanker we see queen and killer we can't drink 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 or every time you, if you're out is drink until unajisahao yani staggering doing crazy things you know who's recording uploading that um nonsense on social media so be very careful have fun when you're in your 20s but doesn't mean that you do all the crazy things in this world let me give a very good example you're out clubbing right and you know someone don't let someone give you a drink that you have not seen being poured you know unaona ikiwe kwa ndani you know so someone just gives you a drink and you start drinking don't go to the washrooms and leave your drink unattended never do that don't mix drink you know shots 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 you know a group is hyping you up take more shots 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 eh kunya tu kunya tu just to please the group of friends just go home responsibly trust me shh. this these things can mess you up you'll make many friends 
and it's okay as we move along the way some of them leave for so many reasons you know perhaps when you reach a point in life you know post that work post that families and you know you're not in touch or you're not very close like before it's okay you make so many friends and it's okay if some of them um you part ways not completely but you don't hang out as before some of them you part ways completely it's okay remember your old friends no matter where you go so that means when you're starting college you know people you've been with in the hood tiny or your childhood friends of course when you go to college you make new friends so don't forget your friends when it comes to friends i also see even your siblings your sisters your brothers you know just because you have a new group of friends it doesn't mean that like now you can't you know talk or hang out with your sisters or brothers like before friends trust your instincts instincts trust your instincts you feel your heart is telling you should not do something don't do it I don't know any other best way to explain it but some people feel people have a strong instincts feel you should not do something or go somewhere or be with someone don't do it exercise stay fit stay healthy just because you are young doesn't mean that you should drink like a tanker smoke like a what like a chimney and eat like who like a what like a pig yeah something of like that sort no small things matter a lot they do trust me whenever you get a chance if you can afford it go for the normal checkups like for the women go for a breast cancer screening go for a cervical um, cancer screening doesn't mean that you are young you cannot get sick these checkups can take you a very long way take advantages of like november breast cancer awareness month january um january is cervical cancer awareness month that that means it comes with huge discounts so go get checkup go get a checkup if it's free some of is it free i think i don't know about the public hospitals all i know is that it comes with a very huge discount say as much as you can you encourage giving money to pocket money do this do that um you know, save as much as you can see killer time is cheap on me too 10 bob 50 bob 100 bob can take you a long way um you know see killer time to blow 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 let's blow money in the club let's blow money this way can you know in your in your early 20s it's cheap blowing money when you're 19, 18, it's cheap blowing money. It's, I mean, have fun, whatever. But let's say when you reach your mid 20s and maybe you've gotten a job, you know, you're done with school, gotten a job. That's what I mean. Save as much as you can save for a rainy day. I would say if you have a talent, go for it. I do not need to expound on this. Look at Trio Mio. How old is that kid? Look at him right now. Um, she's called Nikita Ren, Ren, Ren. I don't know her second name, but it's Miss Nikita. Um, those are two people who give an example of young people with talent, and it, and it is sticking them so far. I do not need to tell you the number of increasing young people on YouTube who are making themselves a living as young as they are. YouTube is not, does not necessarily mean you have to have talent, just have content, anything nice, anything. Uh, but you have talent like those two then go for it when it comes to relatives relatives i mean your family i have learned most of them are not happy for you so i will definitely and i will keep keep i will keep keeping my business away from relatives you know some of them do not like you they do not like your progress you, know, you have nice aunties and uncles and nice cousins and bad aunties and uncles and not very nice cousins so definitely keep my business away from such people when you ask me how are you doing not fine how is life you know you don't need to go into details just yeah whatever do not care about what people say about you if you keep that into your mind girl you ain't going anywhere if you believe what people say about you that thing they, that thing will consume your mind and you will not go anywhere you do you, you do you, you know yourself better. And there's no rat who can take you, what to? <laughs> Don't know, <laughs> whatever, bye bye. See the political um, era, majority of Kenyans are young people, and that's, I, I, I will tell you now, 
and I will tell you the blank truth. Yes. The Kenyan politicians will never help you. They will enter into their respective political seats, help themselves, help their families. Their families will go abroad, you know, the kids will go abroad or get the best schools in the world and in Kenya. They will never help you to combat Isana before we reach a level like that of let's say the US where people really do work and they don't steal money. So if you see these politicians mobilizing you to you know go register. Go register. To be a voter. Yeah. I just want you to vote for them. And you know too there's nothing like I will do this, I will do that, I will do this. Hmm? Trust me, these people will not lie. I will not be voting because none of the candidates have been impressive with be shit. And the day someone will come and fight these corrupt people and to make it worse the one who is leaving has been <sighs> beyond useless can't fight corruption can't fight corruption just keep that in mind this fool will never help you never last thing what comes to life just strive to be independent and that comes with my last point my very very last point if you don't have a talent like me it does you tell me start youtube that YouTube, it's pain. Kenya, 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 kunaga jobs. Kenya, Kenya, see kama you came, man. You should know these things. Where um, directly you finish school or it's still in school, you can get a part time job. There's nothing like that. So, the only faithful employer so far you can ever get at this age and time is YouTube. That is, you get the right subscribers, and if you get the right watch time, you can start making a lot of money. Whether you're high, medium, low, uh, Sign it low because <laughs> I'm still struggling to get 1k subscribers. Then I still can tell him to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. But let me tell you, once we get there, there's nothing like looking for an office job for who? For who? So start YouTube. And if you have a job, juggle in between the two. When you have time, make content, go to work because you'll ask your job, itaisha, and you're there, you're like, wah, 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 wah. so what now? Utafanya? Utafanya? There's no job security in Kenya. So you have to juggle in between two things. If you are smart, do that. So that was life when it comes to relationships. It even looks like some of the exes you have and you're like, <coughs> who, who? <laughs> <coughs> you know, we've heard of someone saying, this is my childhood sweetheart. That, that is something big. Like this at a basketball, um, player Stephen Curry and, 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 the, and the wife those are childhood sweethearts if you can have such a relationship then that's so so amazing someone you know inside out when I look back when I was 18, 19, 20, 21 thinking you know you're so in love oh my god you can't wait for Valentine's Day yeah you kiss many frogs before you find the right one so maybe get whatever you want at that time learn move forward uh, another thing I know when it comes to relationship, I don't know if this is a this is a life lesson or a relationship, but it is in there between. Usienda mali kama hauna fair. You've been you're going for a date. It's a first time date, and people who go for for blind dates, you're crazy, but it's okay. Don't order for something you cannot afford to pay. Okay, so never go for a date without your own money. A relationship has to have the same energy. The same energy. Do you really need to be told? I really hate relationships that are one one sided. One sided. I mean, I seem to be more involved, more in love than you. You know, I text more, I call more. Um, compared to you, um, doesn't mean that every time you have to text me, that's boring. Every time you have to call me, that's boring. Every time you have to hang out, that's boring. But you can tell. Just, just, just leave. Don't force anything. Don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. Don't be a player. <laughs> Should I say be a player at your own risk? Don't. I understand players. Like, I don't. I don't. I don't find you are gorgeous. You are attractive. You are all this. You are handsome. People are after you. Unless you are like the the twin brothers what do you call them Sijui Ao the ones who think that they can lay one woman 
in birth you know exchange because they are twins because a woman will not know it's the other twin damn what happened to humanity any other twins who are doing that out there even the twin twin women you exchange men just because it's good in bed then you tell your twin ah we are sour you wanna try him you know he won't know it's me or you okay it never takes you anywhere and karma is such a bitch what goes around comes back around that date people's husbands or wives because nowadays even the young men date people's wives <laughs> for the sake of financial gain date such people at your own risk date them at your own risk have you ever heard of a story of um, a, a wife who knew her husband was cheating and she knew who the clandy was then she decided to find the clandy and what she had in her bag was acid this clandy and her friend were in the same place so when the woman came she did not she did not add I, I'm not sure if she knew who was who between the clandy and the friend but she just looked at who was more beautiful and she concluded this is the one who is hanging out with my husband so she poured acid and the beautiful lady and it turns out it's not the beautiful lady who was the clan hey it was the other one <laughs> keep your relationship private mostly this is when it comes to social media every time <laughs> you know me and my boyfriend <laughs> or in the comment section i really hate it you know your boyfriend uploads a video and you're like yes babe you know love emojis blah 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 blah, blah. every time you upload something you have to comment so boring so boring keep your relationship private not everyone is happy for you how many times you need to be told not everybody needs to know who you're dating keep them kissing look at my noise tea too <laughs> look at my lady she's so happy she laughed from her previous relationship and she vowed never to keep her relationship um in public oh, if you want to keep it public go ahead but i would advise you to keep it private it gives you more peace of mind another thing i would say if a guy is good to you be good to him too please there are good men out there if someone treats you well don't be don't be like that come on such men do not come every other day to keep the relationship vibrant don't always hang out call each other taxi text each other i've already said that and i will repeat again you have to call each other every time hang out all the time you know take some time apart and miss each other once in a while have safe sex do i need to tell you do i need to tell you to have safe sex there's nothing like um you know babe we've done this for the whole week and today is on the seventh day and i'm out of condoms can we just go roll um okay girl what have safe sex have responsible sex when i know more google what comes with having unprotected sex of course you know but just like ugh. i don't feel like today why not why why, why don't we not don't do the safe safe days thing don't please don't just have sex safe um sex and if you don't feel like you know it's the first day or you are in a rel new relationship and you don't feel or you're not comfortable having it the first or you're not ready yet that's what i mean say no say no no one should pressure you into having sex when you are not ready if that person waits <laughs> then that was a real one if he goes bye bye that was not a real one come can you go back to being a player don't be a player with this society we need to learn a new skill as sick someone got killed because they found out their, that their partner cheated again i would like to say in these days in society i don't know what's going on with people's brains but poor people are furious they get enraged so fast it's scary that might also get you killed oh. facts come on don't stay in a, an abusive relationship oh my god never stay in an abusive relationship someone who is abuse doesn't mean physically all the time but it can be emotional 
don't let someone abuse you in any shape way or form walk away walk away that's why i keep telling people people or women mostly because they're the ones in a in, um, find themselves in such um places and i pray I never find myself in such a situation strive to be independent because the minute someone abuses you if you have your own money you can easily walk away whether you have kids or not never stay in an abusive relationship that is a no for a modern man never never let a man lay their hands on you like right now if you take me to a matatu stage and you tell me to you give me two buses or two matatus one is onganya you know kama hizo za umo kelele 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 ronga and you give me uh, the second matatu which is quiet or medium music soft music hey nijipata nikiingia onganya hey i can't with that noise i can't i can't i can't but if you need in your 18 19 you know tena college you know tena you need you know tropinay music I am past that. Me, I am past that. You will never find me. Unless that's the only option, but it's too loud. I don't understand how people can take that loudness. I can't. I can't. Is that how you know you're a grown up? A mature? How many kuzeka? People's wives and husbands running for those nganyas. With, 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 with young people. I find it shameful, but <laughs> Jesus. None of my business, none of my business. You do you and I will do me. Like I have done right now with my video. It's up to you to comment. Give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't, if you are new here. If you found this video entertaining, informative, like I've said, like, share, subscribe. Comment and I am out of here. Thank you so much for listening. Bye bye.